welcome back to another episode. So, uh, I actually discovered something today. I was playing around with my K3 and the uh, HD DA55300 PLM, and I actually came across, I don't know if it's a good idea to do it, but just figured I'd throw the information out there. Um, you can actually get catch and focus to work only with that lens. I guess it has to do with the autofocus coupling on it uh, because it is PLM. Uh, but if you actually do defocus the lens after you've acquired autofocus and then you purposely use the manual focus ring and uh, you know make sure your settings are in AF1, like for uh, AFC and AFS, make sure they're both in focus priority. Uh, and then you can actually do catch and focus with that lens. Uh, it'll focus at first and then you just purposely defocus it. And as you manually focus, as soon as the beep happens and a little confirmation thing shows up, boom, the camera goes off. Uh, I did try it with a uh, screwdriver lens. Don't do that. Um, I tried it with the 1855WR, which does have, uh, you know, the full-time manual focus override um yeah the focus shift or qu quick focus uh and i also tried it with the 18 135 um wr and it doesn't work with that one either uh so it seems that it only works with the plm interesting just thought i'd throw that out there and uh now on to the video showing that I'm telling the truth. So I'm going to be taking a picture just in this area here um, where the plants are. And uh, I've got the HD DA55300 PLM. So there is no manual switch on it. It's full automatic all the time. Uh, but it does have the quick shift uh, manual focus override. And uh, yeah, I was actually surprised that I discovered this. Uh, you actually can use catch and focus on a full automatic lens that has no manual focus switch. Ooh. So basically what you need to do is put AFS into focus priority and AFC into focus priority. And then uh, basically, obviously the lens is gonna focus at first, but then you defocus the lens and uh, yeah. And then once that's defocused, it won't actually snap the photo until you manually override it using the quick shift. And uh, once it's in focus, boom, camera just goes off. So let's see how that looks and you'll see exactly what I'm doing here. So over here is the autofocus button. So I'll be using that. And uh, you do actually have to have, uh, on the K3 anyway, uh, AF1. Uh, in the menu in regards to whether you're using back button autofocus or shutter button autofocus uh, But either way, yeah, so here we go So it's focused now, right? You can see the red light blinking. And now I'm going to defocus this. And keep my finger on the back button. And I'm going to take a picture. Nothing. Nothing happens. So now. I'm going to, I have to use two different, whoops, uh, use two different fingers here, defocus, press the shutter button all the way down, and now I'm going to move the focus ring, and here we go. A little delayed, try that again. finger down all the way on the shutter button and 
There you go. Catch and focus, working on a non-manual focus lens. Yeah, so surprise, surprise. Uh, never, it's not documented anywhere. I don't know if it's a byproduct. I don't even know if it actually does any damage to the lens. Uh, I hope not, because I just got it and I don't want to damage it. But uh, yeah, it's just something interesting. I'm not gonna personally use it. Um, I'd rather just use it as intended with a manual focus lens. Uh, but I just thought it was something interesting. Um, hopefully Pentax will be releasing more PLM style lenses. That would be fantastic because uh, the focus is silent. They're fast. The app, you know, constant aperture and with hybrid autofocus, uh, being able to focus continuously in video. Hopefully they'll improve that as well. But I think that, uh, yeah, it'd be nice if they released more DC and especially more PLM lenses. Anyway, that's it for this video. And Y'all gonna see me on the next one. I'm out.